Hello friends, I'm back with another video. How are you all doing? Thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity to share with you. And uh, I want to appreciate you for your time, for you to make it to come and watch my video. I sincerely appreciate it. I do not take it for granted. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, in today's video, I'm talking about uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria. As players be has begun to, you know, uh, report to camp and the camp is bumbling in, in, ahead of an uh, encounter with Libya. On uh, in, in Ujo, next week is going to be a crucial one, and the, the Super Eagles are in camp. They will be meeting uh, Libya on the 11th in Uyo and the 15th in uh, Libya. But before I go into details about it, if you are here for the first time, you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, press the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my subsequent videos and also help to share the video if it is possible for you to do. I would also like to thank all my amazing subscribers for the love and support the new and the returning one, and my friends, please watch this video to the end, give me a thumbs up, and share it if it is possible for you to do. I will appreciate it greatly. Now let's go straight into it. 2025 African Cup of Nations Qualifier, Super Eagles Camp Bubbles. The Super Eagles captain, William Trust Ekom, has arrived at the team's camp in Wujo, Akwa Ibo State, ahead of Nigeria's double header. African Cup of Nations qualifiers this week. Trust Ekon, who plays his football in Saudi Arabia after leaving Europe in the summer, joins his international teammates as Nigerians step up their preparation for the crucial games against the Libya national team. Um, Trust Ekon led for other Super Eagle stars to the team's Uyo camp on Tuesday. Udin's uh, goalkeeper Maduka Okoye, Balloon do nominee Ademola Lukma, Fulan defender Calvin Bassi, and Nantes uh, winger Moses Simon were the other players who made it to camp on Tuesday afternoon. The camp in Uyo is gradually filling up with first choice goalkeeper Stanley Wabali and uh, his deputy Amas Ama Obas Soge being among the early arrivals. Wilfred Ndidi, Benjamin Tanimu, Samuel Chukwese, Fisai Odile Bashiru, Victor Boniface, Ravel Yudika, and, and Frank Oyeka have also joined the camp, ensuring a very strong squad ahead of the double headed header against uh, the Libya national team. White star striker Victor Simen will miss the game due to injury. Head coach Austin Eguavon can still rely on the attacking talent of uh, Bayern Leverkusen, Victor Boniface, Nottingham Forest, Taiwo, Awuniyi, and uh, Sevilla Kelechi Hinaju to lead the front line. Nigerians began their qualification campaign with a 3 0 victory over Benin at the Goswil Fabio Stadium and followed it with a draw against Rwanda, leaving them top of the group with four points. A pair of wins over Libya could cement their spot in the next edition of the African Cup of Nations. So uh, the players are focused and they are battle ready to ensure that their participation at the next year African Cup of Nations that will be hosted by Morocco. Well, the players know the importance of these games, the, the double header against uh, Libya, and they have reported to come. So it's now the responsibility and the work of the technical team, the coach and his assistant to fine tune and to deploy a tactic that will be very, very effective, you know, to combat Libya and give them uh, Positive results at the end of the day. 
well. The camp is bubbling. And I think uh, virtually, if not all, the players invited that I expected are already in camp for these uh, <laughs> crucial matches. Two matches against uh, the Libya in the, in the space of one week. All right, guys. Um, I'd like you to come up and uh, let me know your take, your opinion about this crucial match against uh, crucial games against uh, Libya, which will start from this week on the eleventh and uh, the fifteenth of October next week in in uh, Libya. What do you expect? Can you forecast? Can you predict what the the result of the two matches will be? Let me know. Please let me know what you think. The score line. The first one in Rio and the other one in Libya. Do you think the Super Eagles are capable of winning the two two games? If yes, let me know in the comment section. And if no, let me know in the comment section. In addition, let me know your prediction for the two games. Yes. What are you what do you think about the preparation so far? Yeah, there have been a lot of uh, you know talk about the coach you not know, inviting some players to come and inviting players that are not really uh, featuring for their club side. Well, the, the coach and reason the coach has given is that uh, one of the players invited, or most of the players invited, are more experienced than those one people are calling. To be invited. What do you think about it? Is the coach justified to do that? Even though they are not playing. But he didn't invite they invited them and they didn't invite those that are up to date, they are in fine form. What do you think? Honestly speaking, I have nothing to say about that. What I'm after is the result, you know, from these two games. Nothing short of short of result that Nigerians are expecting. Let's wish the Super Eagles the very best. Thank you very much for joining me. Till I come your way next time with another video.